Hey, I'm Chris Berman. Coming up on ESPN, the road to the Super Bowl continues here on ESPN. The field is narrow. We'll be down to four teams by the end of the day Sunday. Coming up, we've got an awfully good divisional matchup for you here. Jaguars, Chargers. Next! Welcome to the AFC Divisional Round. Last week, there were four teams in each conference going head-to-head, -head, and the Jacksonville Jaguars won their matchup against the Pittsburgh Steelers, which means they'll be matched up against the number two seed, San Diego Chargers, regardless of who won between the Raiders and the Dolphins. Both these teams played against each other late in the year, with San Diego winning, earning them the bye and the home field advantage for this game today. Can Jacksonville get revenge in this rematch? They will be without Big John Anderson, but Stroud will still be there to cause some chaos. This Chargers team is ready to go, and so are we. We're getting ready for the kickoff. This will be the first time in a long time the Chargers will be playing at home in the playoffs. They made it to the championship last season, but the journey was all on the road, as Jammer is the one to return this kick and tackle down at the 21. We'll see how the Chargers look to start this game first play of the game and they come out in an I formation two receivers to the right Hardy motion to the left they hand it off to LT left side tackled by Bridges came in untouched Gates missed his block but still a three yard run Lewis is the starting quarterback last time he started in the playoffs was in the divisional round last year he got injured on a scramble I'm sure he's looking to sit in the pocket more in this game deep throw Gates with the catch and tackled hard but held on to it he's hardly used as a receiver but he made a big play here with his hands the offensive line gave Lewis enough time to make the throw and Gates missed the block on the last play but made up for it here New set of downs at the 40. After that big play, Woods in motion. LT is the single back. They hand it to Tomlinson. Right side gets maybe two on the run. Stopped by Washington. Second down, and the Chargers look to be aggressive here. Four receivers on the field. LT is the only back. Lewis is under center. He drops back. Throws. Caught by Owen. Through the tackle. That'll get him across midfield. So far, the Chargers have been run, pass, run, pass. They're taking a balanced offense to a different level. I'm predicting a run here, and it is. Tomlinson, left side, jukes the defender, powering through another, but is brought down after a 7-yard gain. This could be LT's final year as a Charger. I'm sure he's running as hard as he ever has in his career, and the San Diego fans are appreciating every inch he gives. It would be a shame if San Diego wasn't able to capitalize on LT during a Super Bowl run. I know he's not as good as he used to be, but he's still pretty good. They pitch it to Tomlinson, right side, back-to-back -back runs. It also looks like the ref blew the whistle early on that tackle, but they still got enough for the first down. These fans sure do love themselves some LT. The Chargers have had a commanding drive so far, taking over half of this quarter. Lewis is under center with a single back, takes a snap, there's a corner blitz, Lewis gets it out quickly, Moss is open, got behind the linebacker, they got a linebacker on Moss. The defense is pumped up for San Diego, they saw the mismatch, and I guess when you bring a corner blitz, you need someone to take over. Never would have thought a linebacker would be the guy. That pass will get them just inside the 10, a goal to go situation, Lewis is under center, drops back, 3 steps, throws, caught, touchdown, San Diego, Lewis finds Woods over the middle for the first score in today's game. The fans are going crazy, the Chargers dominated during that drive, seemed like everything they tried worked, Woods is down there celebrating that methodical drive. The offensive line did a great job creating a pocket for Lewis. With this extra point, they'll have a 7-point lead. Chargers are up 7-0 over Jacksonville. After that long drive, 8 plays, 79 yards, over 3 minutes, and there's Woods celebrating some more with his teammates. The Chargers came out here looking to give the fans a win in their first home playoff game since 1995. Right with the kickoff and it looks to be fielded at around the 1 by Haynes. He has room to move but is tackled behind the 20. They'll start their first drive at the 18. Alfredo Lewis and Adrian Woods. Double A when they need a spark. Left which will be the quarterback under center for Jacksonville. He rolls to his left, has time, throws back across his body and dropped by Haynes. Couldn't hold on, threw the hit, Porter making the play to knock it out. 
I'm sure the Jaguars are itching for revenge after losing their last game against San Diego. Play action, rolls to his left, deep down the middle, caught by Harris and downed near midfield. Looked to be miscommunication in the secondary on that one. Left which had no one near him, neither did Harris. 31 yards on the completion. They're now one yard away from being at midfield. San Diego has everyone backed up to avoid giving up another big play. Left which play action, throws to his left and still caught despite the coverage with eight players back there. Lee Evans caught the last pass on Roger Clark and Mike Brown to get them into Chargers territory. They hand it off to Taylor, bounces off his own blocker and down after an eight yard run. Henderson on the tackle. Fred Taylor is in his 12th year in the league, gives you hope as a Chargers fan that LT can stay in San Diego for that long. He'll be going into his 10th season next year. Evans motion to the left, left which rolls to his right, the rolls across his body, back to Evans, caught and brought down at the three. Dangerous throw, but it pays off. These rollouts have been doing a number on this Chargers defense. That will also be the last play of the first quarter. Jacksonville is marching down the field with some big plays, but still find themselves trailing to San Diego going into the second quarter. Chargers 7, Jaguars 0. Welcome back to the second quarter. The Jaguars are in a goal to goal situation at the three and a half yard line after a big pass play by Evans. The tight end went in motion, left which throws and tipped by Henderson. Incomplete linebacker making a play on that one. Henderson was one of the big names the Chargers gave a new contract to this past offseason. Roger Clark and James Hall being the other two on defense. They hand it off to Taylor. Ran over Clark, but look who it is. Henderson with back-to-back -back plays, stopping Taylor short of the first. Just like that fan, Henderson earned his pair of nuts. Can this defense end this drive in a field goal? Can Henderson get a hat trick in stopping this team at the goal line? Evans motions to the right side. The defense has almost everyone in the box and they hand it off to Taylor who had an opening on the right but this interior line with a strong push throws the play off. Unable to get into the end zone after getting so close. This Chargers defense bent but didn't break. Jacksonville now has to cut the lead to just 4 points after 9 plays, 81 yard drive. This game might come down to who has the ball last wins. If the Chargers can manage to get another touchdown here on this drive, they can put pressure on Jacksonville. This kick will be returned from the end zone, brought out by Florence and tackled at the 22. Let's see if the Chargers can extend their lead. On their last drive, they were able to march down the field, mostly through the air. How will they start this drive? Lewis drops back, has good protection, throws to the flat for Tomlinson for a few yards. It felt like he rushed that throw. If he waited a bit longer, his tight end was getting open down the middle. Schottenheimer is talking to Barry in on the sideline. It looks like he wants him to use his speed for something. Barian has been on this team for close to six seasons already, sitting mostly as the third best receiver even before Moss was traded to them. Lewis with a quick drop throws to Moss on the out route to get across the first down. Randy Moss is in his third season with this team and well worth the first round they spent on him. He's a bit more aged but still productive. With a new set of down, the Chargers come out in a three tight end set. Lewis drops back, pocket is collapsing, somehow gets that ball out. Caught by Harris for a five yard gain. Should have been a sack. After his injury last season, I'm sure he's happy to take those hits and still get up. His body's holding up so far and the composure to make that throw was impressive. They hand it to Tomlinson up the middle. Nice juke, but only gets him three on the carry. Third down coming up. Interesting personnel they have on the field, two tight ends, but one of them is Olivier. They go back to LT, up the middle, easy first down, didn't even get touched until after the sticks. After giving up an easy run, the Jaguars come out looking to stop the pass. San Diego in the shotgun, Lewis has time, but it's running out, checks it down to Tomlinson who gets tackled hard at the line of scrimmage, Peterson not giving an inch. Second down now and the Chargers have three receivers out there. Fullback goes in motion. They hand it to Tomlinson who had a hole. But Peterson chases him down from behind. Back to back plays where LT and Peterson went head to head. Peterson won both. 
We saw Schonenheimer right now look like he was calling for a specific play. It is third down, probably calling the money play to keep this drive going. Hardy went in motion again, play action. Lewis with time, throws, Barian can't come down with it, incomplete. I wonder if that was a play that Schonenheimer was discussing with Barian on the sideline. It looked like he was running a streak. If you got the speed, you need to use all of it, and I'm not sure he did. Typhus gets this punt off, and it looks like it'll be inside the 20, fair caught at the 17, and Jags now have a chance to take the lead. There's just over a minute left in the half. How aggressive should you be in the situation? And I guess we'll see after the snap. Evan goes in motion to the right. It's a counter play to Taylor up the middle and met at the line by Sparks. Felipe Sparks is the only linebacker they have on the team right now. And this doesn't look good for the Jaguars. Taylor is being carted away with a leg injury. At this point, do you just go into the half after an injury like that? The team must be deflated a bit. Left which quick drop throws, caught by Williams and tackled by Lieber. Chargers call timeout. Chargers are looking to get the ball back before half. They're ready for the pass. Jaguars in an empty back set. Left which drops back. Pressure is coming. Lieber with the sack. Mr. Reliable is at it again. Chargers call another timeout. San Diego is being aggressive and trying to score before the half as this punt goes off. The returner isn't going to get any protection. He's going to call a fair catch and the next drive will start at their own 46. I would ask if the Chargers are going to be aggressive, but I think we all know the answer to that. Lewis drops back, throws to his left, but Woods was covered like a blanket on that play. If the last play was any indicator of how this drive is going to be, it's going to be aggressive. Jaguars bring the blitz, Lewis gets rid of it, Moss is one on one and he makes the play tackled in bounds. That means the clock is ticking, they still have one timeout left but don't want to spend it here. They hurry up to the line, Lewis has been playing phenomenal. He drops back, has time, throws to Gates, he's open, tackled inside the 10 and they call their last timeout. They're now inside the 10 with 18 seconds to go. No more timeouts. They can maybe run two quick plays. Lewis drops back to the corner of the end zone. Woods tipped, intercepted by Cameron Beck. They said he kept his feet in bounds. Jaguars with a clutch play to keep the game within one score. Lewis is understandably upset. They tried to spark a charge with double A, but it turns out the batteries were low on that play. There's still time left in the half, but I wouldn't be surprised to see them just run the rest of the clock, go into the half content. And they hand it off to Jones and it looks like they're going to do just that. Sparks on the tackle, gain of three. That's the end of the first half. It looks like the Chargers were going to slowly run away with it, but a turnover in the end zone keeps this game close. Jaguars three, Chargers seven. Welcome back to the second half of the divisional round here in Qualcomm Stadium. Chargers have a four point lead, but Jacksonville will receive the ball to start the quarter. Let's head on down to the field as the kickoff is about to begin. Wright is getting ready to kick it off and so far this game is closer than it should be. Both teams have shown that they can move the ball easily. The second half is underway. Short kick fielded around the 10. Haynes is the returner brought down at the 27. First drive for Jacksonville in the game. They march down the field in the air with Taylor still on the sideline. They're probably going to go back to that. Left which in the pocket throws over the safety and into the hands of Reggie Williams for a big first down. They've been able to move it in the air. The last throw was over Ferguson. Left which still has the touch. Drops back. Clean pocket throws. This time Ferguson tries to jump the pass but can't hold on for an interception. Left which might have the touch but not the strength anymore. It looks like the Chargers have an injured player. Porter was their number two corner but it looks like he's going to be carted away with a leg injury. Two players today to be carted off the field. It looks like the Raiders beat the Bengals, which means the winner of this game will face them in the AFC Championship game. Left which throws to his right and tipped by Lieber and it falls incomplete. Quinton Jammer is the replacement for the injured Porter. Taylor is still being checked up by the team doctors. We're getting news that even though Taylor wants to return to this game, it's too severe of an injury and he'll be out until further notice. Left which drops back plenty of time over the middle to Harris, Mike Brown with a tackle and they're now in Chargers territory after two big pass plays. 
They're creeping into the red zone, single back set, two tight ends, they give it to Jones and gets nothing. Sandoval pushed back the offensive line and that's a big dude. Second down after getting only one on the run, as you can see this team is primarily pass first, especially now that Taylor is out of the game. Reggie Williams in motion, roll out to the right side, throws back to his left, and luckily Brown wasn't able to intercept that pass, that was a dangerous throw into traffic. It worked once, not this time. Third and nine, they come out on an empty back set, Evans in motion, left which feels pressure, throws, and it goes to no one. He was trying to hit Williams, but pressure forced a bad pass. They sent out the kicker for a 43 yarder, this is to make it a one point game, it's up, looks to have the distance, and it's good. The Jaguars are now just down, six to seven. I was expecting a shootout in this game, but it looks like the defenses for both teams decided to show up this week. This kick will be fielded in the end zone, Jammer on the return, about 2 yards deep. He does take it out, past the 20, and down at the 28. He's currently the starting right corner due to an injury to Porter. I'm sure the Chargers are looking to pick up where they left off at the end of the first half. Lewis is making some adjustments at the line. He drops back, throws deep to Woods, but Grant makes the play by tipping it away. He was put on an island, but he played it very well. Porter is getting news that his season is probably over. We were just informed that his season is in fact over. He'll be out for the rest of the postseason. That's a bummer as he was playing pretty well in this game. Lewis throws it to the flat but misses Tomlinson who had a lot of space to work with. Missed opportunity there. It's now third and long to avoid a three and out. Lewis drops back, scans the field, throws deep, Barry and Bobble but Grant doesn't allow him a second chance to catch it incomplete. An extremely disappointing drive, three straight passes and all of them incomplete. Cypress with the punt that will be caught inside the 40 and he returns it back to the 47. Jaguars are going to have good field position on this drive. The Jaguars have yet to have a lead in this game, but that can all change here on this drive. Leftwich in the pocket, the rose to the right side, Harris with the catch, Lieber misses the tackle, Jammer and Ferguson finish up the play. The passing game was already doing pretty good, but with Porter out, Jammer looked confused out there. It might get ugly for the Chargers. They're in San Diego territory now, the tight end goes in motion, they hand it off to Jones up the middle, powers through Henderson for a gain of 4 on the play. Mike Brown on the tackle. Second and six, the Jaguars come out with two tight ends on one side in the I formation. They hand it off to Jones to the opposite side and Henderson meets him at the line, maybe one on the run. It's now third and five to keep the drive alive. Either way, they're in scoring range to take the lead. Leftwich drops back and throws to a wide open Reggie Williams. Jammer was playing way too soft on the play, giving up the first down. You can see it right here. Throws on the break of the route, hard to cover anticipation. Leftwich has been having a pretty decent game so far, over 150 yards after that last pass. Tight end goes in motion, drops back, steps up, throws, three chargers in the area, but Evans somehow comes down with it. For a Jaguars touchdown, Henderson was in perfect position for the interception, but misplayed the ball. That's going to give Jacksonville the first lead in the game. They won't go for the two points to make it a seven point game. They're comfortable right now with just the one. There's still one more quarter to go, but the Jags lead 13 to seven. There's Evans celebrating with his teammates on the sidelines. The Chargers haven't been able to get much going in this half, going three and out on their first drive. The previous drive, they threw an interception in the end zone. Can they string together something on this one? Jammer will not bring it out, kneels it for a touchback, and there's Evan still celebrating with his team. This drive starts at the 20. Jaguars are showing blitz. Lewis sees it, panics, and takes off with it. It was still a four-man rush, but Lewis felt the pressure and he at least slid. Remember, last season Lewis was injured on a late hit during a slide. I wonder if a play like that gives him confidence that he can take off whenever he has to. He does it again here, but this time he isn't able to slide. He was tackled by two defenders. He gets back up with some swagger. He had no one to throw it to, and there was a hole right up the middle. You'd like to see him slide though. It's a new set of downs after two straight runs by Lewis. They go to Tomlinson on the play, bumps into his blocker, but still managed to get four on the carry. 
Second and six, Chargers have three tight ends on the field. Jaguars are also packed in the box. Lewis drops back, pocket is collapsing. He takes off with it and has plenty of space. He doesn't slide again. I think he likes getting hit. He gets across midfield on that scramble. Immediately the pocket falls apart. They lose track of Lewis and he's able to get the first down. That's one way to end the quarter. Lewis runs with it three times. He's trying to help retake the lead. Right now they're down. Jaguars 13, Chargers 7. Welcome back to the final quarter. Chargers in Jacksonville territory. First down, roll out to the right. Can't find anyone. Throws towards the sideline and Barry and can't hold on to it. That's his second drop of this game. That was also the 5th Street incompletion for the Chargers. Lewis rolls out again, this time to his left. He's taking off with it. He dives for the first down. He likes pain. I don't know what to say. He got the first down. I can say that. He hasn't completed a pass since the half started, and I don't blame him for running with it over passing. If it works, why stop? A new set of downs, Lewis drops back, moves to his right, trying to buy time, trying to find someone, can't find anyone, and runs with it for 7 yards. It's working. I think when Barian dropped that pass, they completely gave up on the passing game. Second down, pitch to Tomlinson, and he's tackled behind the line for a loss. A reminder that the winner of the game faces Oakland next week. Lewis throws Moscow behind the defense. He doesn't have the speed that he had in his prime, but it's good enough to get inside the 10. That was the first completion in the half, and it couldn't have come at a better time. Last time they were this close, Lewis threw an interception. He makes an adjustment at the line, drops back, pressured, scrambles, crosses the line, fights through two tackles, and gets into the end zone for a touchdown. The game is now tied at 13 with that scramble. An extra point will give the Chargers the lead. Alfredo Lewis only completed one pass this half, but why throw many balls when run do trick? With this extra point, the Chargers will reclaim the lead here in the fourth. The kick is up, and just like that, the Chargers are back on top with a one-point lead. If you didn't think this could get any more interesting, here we are in the final minutes of the fourth. Chargers are up by one. Jacksonville about to get the ball, fielded in the end zone, about a yard deep, brought out by Haynes, and tackled at the 21. This team got stuffed on their first drive of the game at the goal line. It'd be a different story if they scored a touchdown, but they have scored each time they've gotten the ball in this half. Does that continue on this drive? Jacksonville has been having success throwing down the middle of the field. We'll see if they continue to target that area. Left witch to the left, and it looks like he's targeting Quentin Jammer. He's been picked on ever since Porter left the game. Looks like Jammer stays over as a starter. Newton and Florence will be taking over. They've been having their way with the secondary, particularly Jammer. Newton is now opposite of Clark right now. Left which drops back, clean pocket, throws. Harris is one on one, but Newton covers him well enough. Incomplete, second down, coming up. There's now less than three minutes to go in the game. They hand it off to Jones on a counter, but his lineman slows him down, barely getting across the line of scrimmage for two yards. Ben Lieber on the tackle, he's already had a sack in this game, comes up with another play here. This could be a huge deciding play here in this game. Third down, three receivers to one side in the shotgun. Left which takes the snap, drops back, throws to Reggie Williams. Ferguson jumps the route and it's almost picked off right there. Looks like Jacksonville is going to punt it here instead of going for it. They still have all three timeouts plus the two minute warning. Florence is the return man standing at the 18. He's going to return this. Has a wall of blockers, one defender to avoid. Tries to juke him but can't Hendricks with a touchdown saving tackle. Now it was very close to breaking that one all the way, but now you have to think they're just going to run it. They hand it to Tomlinson up the middle for a gain of four, and that's probably going to take us to the two minute warning. You can see Lewis has over 50 on the ground, mainly from that last drive. Tomlinson over 30, they're probably going to continue with him. They pitch it to the right side, Tomlinson doesn't get the block, but powers through one guy and brought down at the sticks for a first down. The Jaguars were forced to use their first timeout after that run. They still have two left. They hand it back to Tomlinson, takes it left side, but can't get the edge. Second down coming up. 
Jacksonville has one more timeout as Hardy motions to the left. They pitch it to that side, tries to follow his blockers, but nothing is there. Stopped at the line. Jacksonville can't stop the clock after this play. Looks like they're defending the pass, making sure nothing gets behind them. They hand it off to Tomlinson, right side, no blocking. Jukes a defender, but there was nothing there. They succeed in running the clock. There's going to be about a minute left in the game to work with for Jacksonville after this return. It's a deep one, going to be fielded inside the 20. Defender loops around them and finally tackled at the 28. Jaguars will have 58 seconds to get into field goal range for the game winning kick. Leftwich with a quick drop, throws, Harris with the catch for the first down. They're going to hurry to the line of scrimmage. Remember, they don't have any more timeouts. Time is ticking, only 48 seconds left on the clock. Leftwich with another quick drop, throws this time to the left, Haynes with the first down. They're not rushing on this play, plenty of time to work with, left witch under center, drops back, nice pocket, throws, and almost picked off by Henderson. 27 seconds left in the game. There's still no panic from Jacksonville, all they need is maybe 10-15 yards to get into range. Left witch steps up, throws, and it's picked off by Ferguson. He led Haynes a little too much, and that's going to be it. All day, the Jaguars have been throwing into some tight coverages and getting away, but not this time. Last year, the Chargers beat the Raiders thanks to their secondary, getting a takeaway in the final minute. This year, they get a takeaway to move on to face the Raiders next week in the AFC Championship game. And it's official. The game is over and the San Diego Chargers survived the Jacksonville Jaguars thanks to Delbert Ferguson. He picked off Tom Brady last year in the AFC Championship game. Now he picked off Byron Lefwich to get into the AFC Championship game. Second straight year, the Chargers will be one game away from the Super Bowl thanks to their win here against Jacksonville. 14 to 13 in the divisional round. If you like this one, be sure to catch the next one, which will be the AFC West Championship game.